You bear the mark. You are cursed. What is going on guys? It's Man 27 here and welcome back to another video where today what I'm doing is I'm doing the no beast mode challenge on Shadows of Evil. This little audio sync. 3, 2, 1, knife. Let's get another one. 3, 2, 1, open door. Alright. So yeah, basically what this is is it's just regular game zombies only a twist though is that i'm not allowed to go into beast mode so that's gonna limit like no perks not even quirk revive um very limited sections of the map like i can only uh i can only uh go to very limited sections of the map and yeah so it's gonna be pretty interesting now I hope that the mystery box is in an accessible location, because sometimes they are in a location accessible, so you have to use like beast mode to get up to them. So yeah, I'm just gonna open this pod, because why not? Right, yeah, we're just getting absolute crap, but whatever. Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot the Bloodhound is a way more powerful pistol. So like, I think... Yeah, just two shots and knife on round two. I recommend you stay down. All right, bang bang. Okay. Oh no, I shot three times. What am I gonna do? All right, so yeah, this is gonna be a pretty interesting challenge. Probably won't last too long, but. I don't know, we'll see. The good thing is, is that it's not like the whole map is just going to be completely shut off. Like the whole underground area, most of the, like, the sections, but you'll still have wall weapons to be able to buy. There's not too bad training spots. So yeah, let's just save this thing for a little bit. Okay, I'm going to get a gobble gum. Okay, not the greatest gobble gun, but I mean it will work for now. Okay. Ooh, roasted. Okay. Jeez. Come on, we gotta rack up these points. These points are important to me. I love that quote. I crap scarier things than you. It's probably true, man. Like, I don't know. Congratulations, you just pissed me off. Congratulations, you just pissed me off. I am triggered now. All right, so please, no. What? No, I can't get up to the box. Wait. Is there a way? I don't know. Wait. Cause. Could I get. No, I can't. I don't think. No. Yeah, I could. I could. But it's gonna be a lot of doors to buy to get up to the box. Cause I have to buy, like, this door, go around, up. And. I guess it's probably only, like, two doors, but whatever. And then go down there. Alright, so yeah, it is impossible to get to the box. But it's not gonna be easy neither, so. Alright, we got a nuke. Not picking that up today. Alright, so I'm trying to get. I'm trying to think of a plan for this. Um. Like, basically, just get the best guns you can and find somewhere to train but because you don't have to worry about perks you don't have to really worry about anything so either find a really good training or camping spot and then hopefully that'll last you long a while before you start getting too overrun because well once Margua comes that's going to be kind of tough well it's not going to be that bad at least the first Margua because the first Margua you can kill with unpack a punch weapons pretty easily. When I start skidding, 
eventually harder and harder, so yeah, that's a thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna stay in this area for now. This wouldn't be, like, this seems like a good training spot, but the thing is that they come in from, like, every single little tiny section in this area. It just is trash. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of glad, because Shadows of Evil is such a beautiful map. Like, I mean, you can't really tell from my complete potato graphics. Am I really bad recording quality because my laptop is a potato and I don't have a good PC? Um, but Shadows of Evil truly is a beautiful map, like, especially this area. Like, it just looks so good. Premiere November 6th, the day Black Ops 3 came out. Freaking beautiful, man. Alright. So. I'm just gonna start buying doors to the box. 